Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steven with Support, and today we're going to be talking about the Exo Launcher, but more uh, in detail about the equipment that comes out of that launcher. So, we're going to get right into it. So, uh, as we all know, if you haven't known, I'm going to tell you right now uh, Ghost has put the lethal and non lethal grenades into one class, also known as the Exo Launcher. So, the stuff coming out of your Exo Launcher will be grenades, non lethal grenades, the throwing knife stuff, kind of stuff like that, blah blah blah. So we're going to get right into it, and we're going to start off with the first one on the list it is the frag. Uh, frag, cookable frag grenades. That's all it says about it, but obviously, what, what other introduction do you need? No, it's a frag grenade. Uh, just like every other COD game, you you can charge it up and shoot it, or you can just toss it, wait for it to explode, and it's going to roll around and stuff. So, that would be a frag grenade. Next, we got the stun grenade. Blinds, disorients, and slows enemy can be manually detonated. Holy shit. Wow, this is the first time we've seen this. You can manually detonate a stun grenade. Like, I don't know how that's going to be used, but you guys are going to find some crazy way to use it. Uh, but, and it blinds and slows. So, it's going to, like, every other game is going to blind and slow you for your three seconds, but then you're good and ready and get back to killing the enemy. Like, whatever. That was nothing. Next is a new one called Ex Explosive Drone. A proximity triggered drone that tracks enemies and explodes when near. Near them, sorry. <laughs> uh, it, it's gonna be like your average claymores, IEDs, and bouncing Bettys. It kind of looks like a shock charge to me, but give me give me your opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, and I, I think I haven't actually seen it used, but I think it shoots out kind of like a, I don't know, like a uh, blistering knife out of your wrist, I guess. So <laughs> that could look pretty cool during the game. Next is one I'm really excited about. Like I think this is pretty cool. It's called the tracking drone, a piece of equipment that tracks and highlights enemy players. It flies kind of like a mini helicopter, I guess you could say, and ain't when uh, when it's going, if it finds an enemy, it'll shoot a blue laser, so if you can see the drone, you'll see exactly where the enemy is. And on top of it, it shows you where they are on the mini-map, so it's going to be really useful for you, really bad for your enemies. Uh, next is your uh, is the Semtex, it times sticky explosives, obviously uh, just a very little descriptive view, because you know what a Semtex is, it sticks, you can stick it to enemies, walls, your own players if you want to, and it blows up, kind of limited time for you so yeah next will be the threat grenade which is brand new in advanced warfare it is temporary shows enemies through walls can be manually detonated so i think this is going to be awesome because uh you're going to be seeing enemies through walls but i i don't know like if you're skeptical don't be because i'm almost positive in multiplayer they're gonna have to down it uh down down it a notch or nerf it a little bit from the campaign because like I'm pretty sure it's just going to last a short period of time and cover less area than the campaign mode or it'll be like freaking overpowered as hell and I'm sure most of you agree with me. Uh, next on the list is the good old EMP grenade. Disabled enemy equipment and exo movements can be manually detonated. That's right, you heard me. Disable exo movements. So basically, you're doing this in some kind of objective based game like Domination, Demolition, or Search and Destroy, and all the enemies have, are in the same place, you can just throw this EMP grenade, you basically cripple all of them, they're going back to regular freaking like playing Call of Duty Ghost, you can just shoot them like a fish in a barrel, you just try to get away, you just use your extra move again, like screw them. Next is just a regular smoke grenade, temporary creates a smoke screen, can be manually detonated, yeah blah blah blah, smoke grenade, whatever. Uh, next is a really cool one. It's called Variable Grenade. and can cycle through stun, EMP, threat, and smoke. Cannot be manually deployed. So unlike its counterparts that are just single, it cannot be manually detonated. But on the plus side, if you want the best variety, more bang for your buck of non-lethals, you can use this. But you can't manually detonate like the rest. And lastly, we have the Spike Drone. A lethal thrown drone that returns on command. Holy shit, yes, you heard me right. It returns on command, so you don't have to go up and pick it up from the dead body. It's like a throwing knife with a string tied to it, and you can just get it right back when you can. Or more accurately, it's kind of like uh, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat when he says, Get over here! and pulls him pulls him right back to him. But he's only going to be pulling his knife and not the dead body. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was really informative. In my opinion, I think the EMP grenade, variable grenade... And spike drone will be used the most in the game because they seem like the most useful to me. I don't know about you, but I personally will be using probably the Semtex and the spike drone the most because I, I love the Semtex and the spike drone just seems really cool to use. And maybe a little bit of explosive uh, drone when I'm using sniper classes or something like that. 
So, I don't know what you guys think. Leave in the comments what you think about this. And if you guys like the video, ram that like button and subscribe. And stay tuned for new content. See you guys next time. Peace.